proof by contradiction. Uh, I think Hardy had a great quote that um, in chess, um, a chess player may, may offer you know a, a pawn or a bishop, um, but a mathematician offers the entire game. You know, so uh, it was a uh, sacrifice. Yeah. yeah so he says, okay, we want to prove this is a conclusion. I will give you that the conclusion is false. Okay, I will just let you um, uh, run with it. Okay, and but. You do that, and I will show that it gives you a contradiction. It actually is a technique. Um, so, um, it, on the one hand, it, it is very unintuitive. Um, the undergraduate students that, that we teach, they struggle a lot with the notion of, of proof of contradiction. On the other hand, it is a concept that I have seen primary school st students teach each other. So, um, in recess, you might see um, kids play the game of who, who can name the largest number. So they say, okay, uh, 1,000, and then, and then go, a million, a billion, a billion, billion. And it, they'll go on like this. But at some point, someone will realize, or one of the kids will realize that no matter what number the other kid says, they can just say that number plus one. They have proven that there's no largest number in, uh, in the natural numbers. And this is a proof of contradiction, because if anyone ever did uh, claim about natural number years, uh, largest natural number years, they add one, and you have contradicted them. So it is actually a very intuitive proof technique, but uh, but you have to you have to teach it the right way, uh, and sometimes uh, kids can teach themselves. Type of mathematics that I that the type of proof arguments that I like the best are ones that make unexpected connections between different areas of mathematics.